Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormont itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well... I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. The baddies. Is that a cloud sea compass a must-have for salvagers it's sort of a map of the cloud sea if you do this and this what's the date today um a math october 5th 4058 a math october okay so now we put the date in see oh this is very clever looks like gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampipon. He called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going.
You now have the option to take long rests at lodging facilities. This let you rest until the tiles of the cloud sea have shifted. If you ever find that your way is blocked due to the shifting tides of the cloud sea, then just go back and have a long rest. Since the tides of the cloud sea change every time you have a long rest, it's wise to check the cloud sea status and the information display first. Oh, and you should bear in mind that it's not possible to take a long rest at every single lodging facility in all rest. Okay. So, huh, so basically taking long rest changes the, uh, the sea clouds. If a certain area is like covered in like clouds, then we have to take a long rest to get rid of it to be able to travel travel that location. Off we go. Right. What will we find? Everybody can level up. See, Grumps, I'm getting better. You know, much, much stronger. How the freak did Nia get? Wow. I don't know how she got more EXP than everyone else. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's interesting. Because she was, like, held captive, like, the whole chapter 3. And not 3, uh, damn, chapter 2. adventure with Rex really began. Oh, right. This must be the spot where you and Rex washed up. Though we only made it here thanks to Gramps' efforts. And those efforts are the reason I'm like this now. Mini well, if you stayed that big, you couldn't exactly travel with us. I'd say you're just right. If I was my old self, I'd be able to carry you anywhere. True. Well, anywhere within reason. The world tree would be pushing it. Amazing! So how long it take you to get to our gentum from here? At the current separation, let's see... About ten days' travel. That long? You do it faster than that or you taste the whip, is what I'm hearing. Of course, that's not what I mean. But that's like three or four days by boat. My apologies. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> what is point of worrying now Grant's not big anymore? True enough. That old body is a thing of the past. Well, I think you are adorable like this. I like it. Well, that's very kind of you, Pyro. Are you blushing, oldster? Well, tell me, Rex, do you ever wish I was in my old form? I do. 
faster traveling, that's for dang sure. I liked it better when you were big. Oh, is that so? I suppose you found me very useful as a titan. Huh? I provided a home, carried you from place to place, not to mention the salvaging crane stuck you know where. <laughs> That's wow. not really what I meant. It's just that you were so big and dependable. Like a dad. Or, well, a real grandpa. Besides, I knew you in that form for most of my life. Everyone else only really knows you like this. But I'm not used to it. Rex has a point. The time when I knew you before Azurda is very faint in my mind. This is the Gramps I'm used to. Tora cannot imagine Big Gramps. Puppy never seen Big Gramps, so also cannot picture. Right? That's what I thought. It's all about what you're used to. Hmm. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Though I know you're really just pining for the days when you could travel in comfort on my back. Heart to heart, the real Gramps. So yeah, man, this this area here is all started. We all st it all started here from this area after chapter one, of course. Yeah, I just wanted to go there because Pirate wanted to revisit that spot. So now let's go focus on the main story quest. I think it's this area. We need to find a ship. And where you? Let us go. I got. I gotta say, man, this is one hell of a spacey Titan because the land masses is like. It's just crazy. It's like a whole new planet, really. Like, I can only imagine what the other Titans look like. Holy cow. Great to be quarters of God. Why is this thing chasing? Oh, it's a unique monster. So they chase you regardless of what level you are. Okay. Because if it was a regular monster, he would have never aggro to me at all since I power leveled 55. Yeah, and just in case you guys are wondering, I know like a few clips ago, I was like level 18 and 19. Well, I took a a pretty long break after I went into the end and then I just started like leveling up more and I am now level 55 so that is why I'm 55 right now and I'll probably keep doing the same thing as I progress the story even if I'm over level but uh, anyway let's, let's see if we can Figure out what's going up over here. What is this? Airflow. We're going to need a. Definitely going to need a win. Are... Win mastery. And this Happy is boosters engaged. That was my first common blade I got. And he is extremely useful, apparently. Another heart to heart. Master Pond, Poppy have question. 
pursuit of learning is good thing. Ask anything and the Torah will answer. Cloud C clearly visible from here. Height of Cloud C is different at different times. Why height change? Meme? Well, um... Torah let Rex Rex answer that one. Rex, why cloud height change? Well, let's see now. And maybe it's easier if you compare it to the clouds in the sky. They come in all different shapes, right? Some clouds very flat, other clouds big and fluffy. Yeah, that's what I mean. And the shape doesn't stay the same forever. The cloud C is the same way. It's not always a flat surface. Sometimes it gets fluffed up. The height and shape of it isn't constant. It's always changing. Not suddenly like the weather, but gradually. It's more likely than not to change overnight. Yeah, that sounds about right. Very interesting. Oh, but it's only the titans like this one and the more ordained titan that affect the cloud seas high. Ones like the trade guild titan Goldmouth just float on the surface, so they don't affect it. Makes lots of sense. I guess that's about the extent of what I know. Very much thanks, Rex. Poppy learn a lot. Rex must know lots of things. Poppy have even more questions to ask. Oh boy. Oh, really? I don't know if I can answer everything. Poppy! What is this? School time lessons for Poppy? <laughs> try ask Dromark instead. That's a good idea. I reckon Dromark is more knowledgeable than I am. Oh, you flatter me. I'm no expert compared to our resident Titan. Damn. What? Don't drag me into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I have no memories of the time before I bonded with my lady, after all. That's no reason to throw me into the cooking pot. What am I supposed to say if Poppy asked where do babies come from? Or something like that. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Tell her they are delivered by a flying turkey. That kind of quick thinking is why you're a better man for the job. Ah, you overestimate me. <laughs> Still, if the mighty Titan is not willing, I suppose we will have to rely on my lady instead. Hold it, Joe Mark. I want no part of this mess. Master Bun, Poppy think Poppy already learned something. What? Oh, learn what? This what people mean when they talk about passing the buck. <laughs> passing the buck. Heart to heart. <laughs> Burgeoning curiosity. Complete. Okay. That was that was pretty interesting. So yeah, these heart the hearts, they they're pretty much like uh special skit events that are probably throughout every Titan. But you need like the required I would say blades or party members. I don't know exactly if it's the blades or the drivers. But uh They're very interesting. Very interesting events. We're here! Right! Where to next? It gives more character development between Blade and Driver. So that, that's nice. I like that. Now I gotta 
go through this huge spacey area again. <laughs> like this, this whole video has been about heart to heart events so far. We have still yet to find a ship. Congratulations. So this definitely got to be it. Thing is, I don't see a ship. Why is that? Let's open this chest right here. I there. hope it is something good. Hmm, Common Core, which I already have about 99 of these. So. <laughs> Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora, this big surprise. Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little Pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon, Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragov. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um. Well. Tora run out of gold, hmm? Be broke. Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> 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 I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty Tora take off to Grampy Pond indeed. Oh well, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. Oh no! W what is problem? I should have known. You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct, but that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? 
It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go! Yay! Let's go find ship ingredients! Man, I probably already have the parts, too. But the amount of farming and leveling, level, I mean, like grinding levels, I probably already have them. I probably already have the dang parts. Yep, <laughs> well, one of them. Okay, so I need diamond oak. I need five diamond oaks. Hmm. Question is, where do we get diamond oaks? Let's just see where the main story quest location. Okay, let's we'll just travel there then. That was easy. Off we go. What that, will we find? That pretty much answered my question in a heartbeat. All right, there. So we need Leave it to me. two more, right? Oh boy, I hope I don't fall off. Bruh. You're a tiger. You can't get on a dang ledge. I'm done. This is an area where I excel. Thank goodness I could just teleport back to the shipyard. And where you? Let us go. But how much you want to bet? There's gonna be another quest. There's gonna be another Chris right after this one. This is an area where I excel. To to get the ship ready. to the ship I'm, I'm trying to find where the ship go it just vanished we brought all the materials but the ship is gone No. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? I knew something was going something was gonna come up and now we gotta do another quest. This is like part two of getting the shit ready. Let's see. Pollen orbs. So, tight won't show up until. Oh, so we gotta sleep in the inn again? Alright, so we got the pollen orbs. Now we gotta go back to the inn, take a long rest, so the sea clouds can go high in a high level. We're doing all this, guys, just to get the ship. 
get the shit back. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but I love JRPGs like this. It keeps you busy. Like, it's, it's making you do more work in order to get to the next like chapter or next area or something like that. It's not like simple quests where you just do one thing and you're done. So I, I'm not I'm not disliking it. It's just sometimes it's kind of mind boggling. You have to do like five quests just to get to a ship or something like that. Okay, make way for me. All right, so. Uh, let's find this Titan wherever he may be. I'm trying to figure out which is the closest, because I'm not really sure where this part, this area is. I guess this is the closest. Is it? I don't know. Off we go. What will we find? Now my question is, is the Titan in the sea clouds or is he like on the surface somewhere? <laughs> Leave it to me. I guess we'll just have to find out once we get there. Cause Leave it to me. I just don't know right now. I think I'm going the wrong way because according to the quest meter, it, the numbers are going higher. So let's find another place to go. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where is this area located? Like, I'm not sure. Maybe this is the closest, but maybe I went the wrong way. Here. Let me get my breath. Maybe it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. See the numbers are going down. Like when I when I first played this game, man, like I did not understand. This is an area where like, I the excel. Main quest meter at all. But now it's it's pretty simple. I think they could have done a better job at handling mess, uh, main, you know, quests in the indicators, but we found a Titan. So this giant fish is a titan. When did it get so late? We All need right. to find lodgings. Back to Uma shipyard. 
to see if he is there with the ship. Let us go. About time, my boy. Sheesh. He did about 100 quests just to find this ship. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it kind of feels like it, though. Alright. Now we can finally leave Gormont. And we are out. So now we borrow Uncle Pond's boat. Thanks, Simon. We owe you. Indeed. Enjoy your boaty jaunt. <laughs> <laughs>